just one, I'm a few, no family too, who am I? If you know this, you might be a member of the Clone Club. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about one of the best sci-fi shows of all time, Orphan Black. That's so science. So Orphan Black is a story about clones who have to literally fight for their lives and for their very right to exist. If you want to see a sci-fi tour de force of acting, check it out. Tatiana Maslany is amazing. One actress, 13 different clones. Yeah. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know how obsessed I am with this show. I've talked a little bit about Kasim and Niehaus and how amazing the scientist she is. So today, I want to talk about the science of Orphan Black. So the science gets real weird real fast. Keep in mind it's a sci-fi show, so it takes certain liberties. Before I get to the big, big, big issue of cloning, let's talk a little bit about some of the other science brought up on the show. Dr. Leakey, he's kind of the creepy overlord of the creepy corporation Dyad, he just offhandedly comments one day that he's working on an artificial womb. You know, because that's such a normal hobby, just like pottery is. So how close is Dr. Leakey's hobby to reality? Well, developing a fetus outside of the womb is called ectogenesis. This is a term coined in 1924 by J.B.S. Haldine. You can think of an incubator like an external womb. I mean, it keeps it warm, keeps it cooking, has a lot of tubes to help it breathe, help the blood circulate, so it's pretty close, but it's missing amniotic fluid, which is kind of important. Some researchers have grown goat embryos in machines filled with regular amniotic fluid, so that's one step in the right direction. Other animals like rats have been grown outside the womb, not to full gestation, but pretty damn close. One researcher reportedly grew a human blastocyst to 10 days. There's currently a limit on such research. It's placed at 14 days. Pregnancy is still very dangerous for women and babies too, so having external wombs could save lives. But there are some ethics here. I feel like maybe we should work on making pregnancy safer first. It'd be a good place to start. And this is a really good example of how the show raises these kind of ethical questions, sometimes really subtly. I mean, this was just an offhand comment about a hobby. And it's kind of part of the meta-narrative about female agency, who controls a woman's body, and how sometimes a woman is reduced to nothing but her body parts. Anyways, before I go on a rant on the feminism of the show, let's keep talking about the science. One of the big plot points of the show is when Cosima finds a synthetic sequence in her DNA. It turns out to be a patent. Weirdly enough, DNA is already being considered for data storage, so maybe DNA wouldn't be the weirdest place to find a patent. So can we do that? Can we edit a person's DNA? Well, yes. There's one technique called CRISPR. Scientists can create a nuclease, which is an enzyme that cuts DNA in a very specific place. Another sequence can then be inserted into the cell, in this case it would be a synthetic sequence, and as the DNA repairs itself, it takes base pairs from around it. In this case, it would grab the synthetic sequence and use that instead to heal itself. Weird, right? While the science is still in its infancy, researchers are already a little worried. Some have even called for a worldwide moratorium on the practice. There's a real fear that shady people, maybe a creepy corporation like Dyad, would use the technique for nefarious purposes, like creating genetically engineered people. That could get a little dicey. And it could go really badly, just like the infertility sequence did. And that's one of the other fears about CRISPR and other gene editing techniques. We don't really know all the consequences of it. We know that genes sometimes control for more than one trait, so if we take out a gene or insert another gene, who knows what traits it could turn on and off and what kind of unintended consequences could happen. And if you edit the genome of one person, if they have kids, that edited gene will be passed on through the generations, and who knows how that gene will appear in 10, 30, 100 generations from now. Or even in the case of Orphan Black, it seems like some sequences got a little weird in just one generation. Kira is the daughter of one of the clones, and she has the strange ability to heal herself very quickly. Whether that's an intentional sequence or an unintentional consequence, I don't know. We'll just have to tune into season three to find out. But what about scientifically? Could we do it? Maybe. We all know about Dolly the Sheep. She was cloned back in 1996. Since Dolly, over 20 different species have been cloned. Well, basically scientists take an already existing egg and take out the DNA or the nucleus from that egg and take DNA or a nucleus from a somatic cell, and a somatic cell is any cell that's not a sperm or an egg, and they take the DNA or nucleus from that and insert it into the egg. That egg is then implanted into a surrogate so it develops. In the case of Orphan Black, that surrogate was Amelia. This process is called somatic cell nuclear transfer. 
And there does seem to be some health problems with clones, like Dolly died notoriously young. But of course scientists are working on this. In 2013, scientists from Japan cloned mice that lived a normal lifespan. So maybe this isn't far off for human cells. I mean, scientists have already cloned human cells, but there are limits. But mostly this process is used for therapeutic and research purposes. It's cloning cells, not necessarily building a person. So while the ethics of this are hotly debated, maybe we should just leave it to the sci-fi for now. So what do you think about the ethics of all this? About artificial wombs, human cloning, and how amazing is Orphan Black? Let me know down in the comments below. And please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and you can find me on other places on the internet. I am on Twitter at Julia underscore SCI and on Tumblr. That's so science.tumblr.com. I'm on the Instagram now, I still don't know how to use it. How to selfie? I take lots of pictures of me snuggling with cats. That's kinda cool. Is there another show you want me to science? You can tell me that too down in the comments below. I just want to make crazy science with you. I just want to make crazy science with you.